Isn't it great when you raise children and they follow your values? So beautiful, so much nachas. But what happens when chas v'shalom, your child, rejects your values? Shabbos, kashrus, marriage to a person of the opposite gender, tattoos, you name it. And the child, chas v'shalom, rejects it. How do you react? What do you do? Do you choose the values or the child? You see, at this point, you're forced into a question of who am I truly? Is it my values or is it my child? Moshe Rabbeinu was cornered into such a moment. When Bnei Israel sinned against the Torah, Moshe, who loved and valued the Torah, was faced with the people who sinned against it. And look what he does. He turns to God and he says, If you don't forgive them, Im ayin mecheni no kasafta, erase me from your book. I choose the people over the Torah values. I, I will never reject the people. I will always stay with them. This is who I truly am. Moshe discovered the deeper side of who he is, even though Moshe is Torah. But Moshe who is Israel is deeper than Moshe's connection to Torah. And so the one parsha where Moshe ben is not mentioned is Parsha's Tetzave. And in this week's parsha, what do you see? Moshe is not mentioned. Is that negative? No, the whole parsha is all speaking to Moshe. It's like we're so intent on not mentioning Moshe's name that we mention him everywhere. The first word in the parasha is Ve'ata Tetzavez B'nei Yisrael. You, Moshe, will command. Ve'ikhoi lecha, they'll take to you. Every other parasha speaks about Moshe by name. This parasha speaks to Moshe. It's not that Moshe is not mentioned in the parasha. It's that he's so present that we discover the true Moshe. That's why Parsha Tetzavez is always the same time as Zayin Adar, the birthday in the yard site of Moshe. This is Moshe. If Moshe has a choice, the values of Torah or the Jew, he chooses the Jew. What's amazing is that when your child knows that you choose the child over, over the values, the child will inevitably want to follow the values.